Hey everybody, what's up? So, I'll give you guys a quick update. Um, you guys seen? We replaced the headers on the old Cadillac. They were uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad rusted up. Um, thanks to Captain Obvious for getting a couple of the bolts out of the heads that were, they were snapped in at least an eighth of an inch inside the head. Um, he put a washer over it and tacked that and then uh, got a bead up on it enough to where we can put a nut over top of the bead and then weld that to the nut in order to get the uh, broken studs out of the head. Uh, pretty much got the uh, passenger side one done. Um, got to hook up the collector down at the bottom and then uh, over here on the passenger side we've still got to uh, put in the manifolds and everything down through there none of that's done yet uh, we had a problem with the dipstick um, was rusted and it was right behind the actual manifold so I gotta as you guys can see they were rusted apart right there and then uh, we got a new tube right here so we're gonna put the uh, the new one on and then um, I gotta put the starter back in but uh, by the way make sure you guys join the GOA Gun Owners of America proud sponsor of the Tavin Show so we're gonna go underneath the bit here and uh, show you guys what's going on welcome to my pit so, uh, real quick, you guys can see right up here, we uh, got the collectors, we uh, did get the, this one right here is the um, second bank O2 sensor, but we do have the bank one sensor out, uh, made it a lot easier, and then uh, we got to put the uh, starter back in, get it lined up. And then uh, come back over here, and we got our uh, collector, and we got to bolt it up and everything. But we'll have everything back up and running today. Uh, this should fix everything. Uh, the exhaust leak got pretty loud, and it was on a number seven cylinder, um, the last one. Um, and I couldn't tell if I had a rod knocking or not, or if it was the exhaust. Well, there's definitely an exhaust leak. Uh, this truck's got 100, 172,000 on it now. And uh, we're gonna fix that manifold leak, tighten up everything, get it all fixed and repaired. Other than that, once that's done, there's literally nothing wrong with this truck now. Um, hoping that the rod is not a uh, knocking in the motor. If that's the case, I should be able to get another, you know, 50,000 miles out of this. Um, this truck's driven primarily highway. Uh, it is 99.3 mile one way to work, and I run 70, 70 mile an hour to work. And that's supposed to be limit, but uh, um, I just drive it to work and putting around town once in a while but I don't hot rod this I don't off-road it or anything like that so this is uh, this is my back and forth to work transportation truck and honestly I had the 2500 and that truck just bounced down the road it drove me I didn't drive it and this thing here has got air ride suspension on it it is so much better um, it's all-wheel drive. I can't select it off and on or anything. So, but it's just all-time all-wheel drive. Right underneath, I mean, it's got a little bit of rust here and there, little spots. But for an Ohio truck, you know, no, no major frame rust or body rust or anything like that. I mean, it's got a little bit of a surface rust right here. There's a little bit underneath, but for an Ohio truck. Um, the guy that owned it before me was an Ohio resident, and the Carfax said that you know that he was Ohio resident. So five years of Ohio, where it came before that, I have no clue, or I don't remember. But this truck's been used um, to its potential, and I use it, and you know 
I, I baby it, but I don't, you know, grandma it at all. But it's an awesome truck. There's a lot of good deals on a lot of uh, luxury vehicles out there right now, especially Cadillac. Uh, I had an H2 Hummer. That's one truck that I completely regret getting rid of. That H2 was awesome. Yeah, it only got 11 miles a gallon, but it was so comfortable to drive, and it was big, and people just stayed out of your way. And, you know, it, it's not a ooh ah, I got a Hummer type thing. No, it was just it's a bigger vehicle, and you know, urban assault vehicle more or less. But this thing here is pretty much the same thing um, as far as what it does. I mean, it's all-wheel drive. Uh, it's got the big V8 in it. It's a 376, 2.2 or 6.2 liter. Um, same motor, I think, that's in the Corvettes. But I don't know if they put titanium valves and stuff like they do in the Vets. I don't know if it's just a stock, you know, stuff. Uh, Low-key materials in it. But anyhow, we're going to get the starter up, get the manifold on, get the dipstick in, um, get it all buttoned back up, tighten back up. We're going to put new spark plug wires, uh, do a once over, uh, check all my fluids and things like that. So I'm thinking there was something else. But other than that, that's about it. I appreciate everybody coming and hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, retweet. Also, go check out Creator Summit. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel called Creator Summit. Uh, go subscribe to that. Um, on my front page of my YouTube channel, if you look over to the friends lists of everybody, I think the top one's Creator Summit. Um, go over there and subscribe to that. That's where we're going to put a lot of our gun content. And that's the main YouTube channel for the Creator Summit. Um, if you're not aware of what that is, go to creatorsummit.us and scroll down through there and looking at it. I'm holding a uh, long range rifle event in September. Uh, we're having a pre-spring fling meetup May 19th. So if that's something you wanna come and be a part of, it's open to everybody. Um, working on a couple deals right now. Uh, Fort Scott Munitions is in the process of building a 338 Lapula for me. Um, I think the base unit is going to be a Savage, uh, Savage Arms, so that's, that's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm trying to think, May 18th, um, I got a meeting with uh, HM Defense, and we're going to be picking up the 6.5 Creedmoor, the AR-10, uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, and then we're picking up the M243 as well. So. I will have all those there. If you want to shoot the 50 cal, make sure you bring your own ammo. Um, you got to bring your own ammo, but you can shoot the rifle. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's all. I got to get this wrapped up, get it done, do my laundry, get some things done, and get ready for uh, work tomorrow. We got about two inches of snow right now, and it's still snowing. So uh, it's going to be uh, buck written snorting drive the way to work tomorrow hopefully everything uh, roads are good by then so all right see ya